Hey, what's going on guys? It's been 10 long years, but it's finally happened. Bleach is back, baby. And I have a feeling this season right here, this is gonna be big. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. You know, I am so excited for this. My expectations are super high. It's been a long ass time since we've seen Bleach. Bleach was one of the goats, one of my personal favorites. So I'm so happy that it's back. So the last time we checked this out, this was a long time ago again. So I think it's been about 10 years uh, since the last season. And the last time we saw Ichigo, he had just come off of the battle with the butterfly, Aizen, and lost his Shinigami powers. So he was totally human at this point, no powers at all, back in human society. He was introduced to some guys that sort of told him about a new human development called Fullbringer that they can teach him how to utilize. So they did all this training, they unlocked his Fullbringer abilities, and he was pretty dope. Not as dope as a Shinigami, but he was he was okay as a Fullbringer. Nice costume and, and abilities and things like that. They eventually stole his, his uh, Fullbringer powers, and of course Rukia came to the rescue, gave Ichigo his Shinigami powers back, and it was back to status quo at that point. There's a storyline involving Ishida and the Quincy's, and I'm sure that's going to be a major part of, of this new arc. Heard a little bit of things about it, not too much, but I've heard some things about it, that the Quincy's are going to be a major, major factor in this one. And one point I definitely got to mention, I have not read any of the manga after that last season of Bleach. You know, I wanted to, I've been waiting this long to see the animation. I knew they were going to come back eventually, so I, deci I decided not to take a look at the manga. I have no idea what's going on, so please don't spoil it for me in the comments. Uh, definitely give me feedback. I'm curious if they're going to stray from the manga at all in this season so let me know if they're keeping close to the, the original content or are they changing things up let me know in the comments guys i would love to know your opinion on that but i'm a clean slate this is a true blind reaction i have no idea what we're doing where we're going i'm stoked i'm so excited to check this out so let's jump into it <laughs> Ooh. I like the voice. Hmm. Who is the, obviously he's going to be the big bad. Who is that guy? Oh man, this is oh man. I can tell already. Oh, that's my favorite. Ooh, look at the animation. Oh, we're going to get the same theme. Oh. Oh, this animation is nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, with the fro. Oh, so they bumped it up to two. <laughs> He's like, hell yeah, I'm scared. Let's go, let's go. Something, something's gonna happen already. I'm loving this animation. <laughs> He's like, please. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. And he runs. <laughs> You better use that song, Pacto. Or maybe it's just a training, training sword. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. These are not the typical hollow. Yeah. Go, man. Yeah. Too late. Hesitated. You can't hesitate, my dude. Yeah, these hollow might be on some extra. I thought he was going to use a Cero for a second there. Ooh. Who was it? 
that? Oh! Are you me? Nice. Oh, she's gotten faster. Mad quick. Oh, yes! The man! Look at that, Zangpakto. Look at that. Oh. Oh, man, he looks tight. Oh, the song's back. Up attraction. I love this song. Oh, damn. What is going on here? Oh, they look tight. Oh, she's got some offensive power. Oh, damn. Upgrade. Orihime, okay. So if she just got upgrade chat. Del Diablo. Oh. Nice. Oh, he did it from a distance. Oh, man. This. Yo. Of course. Nine. Oh, who's that? Like he's skating on. On Retsu? Oh, shit. They've all gotten upgrades. Uh oh. Ooh. He's going Bankai already? <laughs> oh, that's dope. Oh, yo. Oh, man. Kurosaki Ichigo, bitch. Looks dope. Yo, did you see the, the black energy coming off of that? That Tetsuo? Oh, oh man. Their power levels at a whole new new level now. This season's going to be insane. I can tell already. そうだな。答えて。よ。いいばん。フルネームが知りたいか。あずきやろいいばんだ。パロ。質問は誰だか知らねえがとりあえずベッドから降りろ。失礼。もう一度言ってもらえるかな。よく聞き取れなかった。
In Yamato's dojo? The audacity! Okay, these dudes are... are gonna be a problem. Whoa. That's not good. He's going to set y'all on fire up in here. Whoa. What the f- Dude! Wanderike! Oh, go off, my brother! He's like, oh, hell no! Ooh, that looks nice. Wow. They go, my G. What the hell is happening? There's things happening on multiple fronts here. So it's like we've got distractions happening and then... Damn. He survived. Maybe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Do they still but They seal Bankai? Oh, damn. What? Get that mother. Dead. Done. Yo, what was he about to do, though? He's either going to steal it or seal it. He survived that? Disappear. Whoa. What these dudes? Holy shit. Exactly what the f Yo, what is going on? Are they ending it right there? Okay, I was about to say. Okay, what is this? What is that? Okay, who? These. Okay, yo. Whoa! Damn. The blood warfare. 
Yo, this season is gonna be lit lit. What the hell just happened? I can't even comprehend what just <laughs> Damn. Okay, bro, that was super, super dope. Holy shit, the animation. Okay, I'm just gonna go down my list of things from, from watching the episode. First off on the list, the animation was crispy. They, they obviously spent a lot of cash in this production because the animation was just beautiful. The frame rate was fast, the color was brilliant. The animation has really stepped up on this thing and it was just extra crispy right out the gate. And you know, I was surprised to see it, but it was, it was a pleasure to see it actually. We got to see Ichigo's Bankai, like, within the first eight minutes of the show i didn't expect that but i have missed hearing that word so long y'all just hearing the word Bankai. yo i love that word love how they say it and it was so good to hear it that fast but i was surprised to see him pull it out that quickly pause <laughs> <Let> me... <laughs> And yo, so the whole team shows up. We had everybody show up on the spot and they all had power up. So that says a lot. That means that there's a lot of things already in motion and we're just now seeing the fruition of a plan that's been planned out for a long ass time and is finally starting to kick off. This is definitely one of the beginning phases. And I got the feeling that this is all just kind of like a, just a distraction tactic for some bigger play that's happening. There's like multiple stages happening at once. What are they after? And by they, I mean the Wanderreich. I think that's what they called it, Wanderreich, uh, those guys. So are they, obviously they're Quincy. And like the first guy showed, they have a, are they merging Quincy and Hollow together? Have they figured out a way to sort of utilize the Hollow powers with the Quincy, that's kind of different. I wonder why, why that, why did they go that route? I'm sure they're, they're gonna explain it, but I think that that's what's happening. So is their home base in that hollow realm where uh, Ichigo and all the team got stuck a few times? If they're living in that realm, they have access to all the hollow who are there. So have they been experimenting on hollow? Is that what they're doing? I'm sure they're gonna flesh that story out, but I'm very curious to hear that. That's gonna like really amplify those Quincy's, Quincy abilities and probably take them on the same level as the Shinigami. So that's going to be an interesting development. They've been able to like elevate or evolve their Quincy powers. I mean, I don't know. It looks dope as hell regardless. And you know, the power level is definitely increased because Ichigo transformed into to his Bankai and nailed the dude with, with a Getsu Tensho, like nailed him in his Bankai form and the guy survived. So that says a lot. Usually people are just like obliterated by that move. And obviously this dude hadn't gone to, into his final form. He's still in base form. That says a lot. These guys are dangerous. If he survived that move in his base form, they're going to be a major, major problem when they transform. And you know they're going to transform. Everybody has transformations in this show. And yo, when the Wanderreich struck at the Captain Commander's crib, they went to his crib. Like, you don't do that. They went in there, kicked, they cleaned their feet off on his, his carpet and like desecrated his wall with, with his boy's body. Like, dude, these dudes are no joke. They came in here like gangbusters immediately. They laid the stage. They were like, okay, this is it. It's on. So it's been a full declaration of war on the, the Shinigami. They're ready and they're enacting their plan. I mean, this plan has obviously been in motion for a while and it is executing. It's like Order 66 in Star Wars. There, Someone's issued Order 66 and that someone is the guy who they showed at the end there and I'll get to him in a second. So yo, so what's the deal with them? Like he was about to do some kind of move with Ichigo where he Ichigo, he, he basically conned him into going into his Bankai form for a reason. So is he going to seal the Bankai form or steal it? He had some kind of device that he was going to use and he gave some kind of like German incantation for some kind of ritual. Is he stealing it or sealing it or is it something different? They're going to explain that I'm sure, but obviously the Bankai is a key to this. They're doing something to the Shinigami where they won't be able to utilize their Bankai. I don't know if it's a permanent thing or is it a temporary thing? No idea, but that's obviously the move is to steal their Bankai so that they can't escalate the power um, and then be a, a problem to deal with. So without their Bankai, the Shinigami are going to be like just on some mid. Obviously they're 
they're they're super powerful without their Bankai, but the Bankai always give them that extra little advantage. And without that advantage, that's going to like even the playing field. And then at the end, who's the guy sitting on the throne? Like, who is this guy? I mean, obviously they're, they're Quincy's. And why were they wearing masks? Like, I have a bunch of questions about this. The hollow thing, the mask, where, where's the headquarters at? Is it in, in that hollow realm? What's happening? Help. <laughs> I love it though. I love this. Man, this season is gonna be dope, y'all. It's gonna be super dope. You can already tell the first episode was just a classic. It's like they didn't miss a beat. They came right back immediately with the heat and I love it. But geez, I'm gonna go back and watch this episode again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Fantastic episode. I can't wait to see more. So come back every week here in Big Time. I'll definitely be doing reaction reviews and deep dives on every week for Bleach as we go through the season. I'm excited about this season if, if this intro episode gives us any doubt that they were going to miss a step with bleach we were wrong they're coming back super strong and this show is going to be epic join me next week guys on big time when we do another deep dive and reaction into bleach so glad to see it back all right guys i'll catch you later peace big.